Hey guys, hope you're doing well. It's Deep here and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about another HVAC website design. So this is another website I did for a client a few days ago, maybe a month ago. And this is a different design. Just so you don't get confused, I made a video about HVAC websites previously. And this is not that design, although I'm using all the tips and tricks and all the rules, guidelines, everything in this one as well. But this is a separate design but like structurally or in terms of conversion rate optimization everything remains the same so let's actually start by uh looking at this document over here so this is about the layout of the website so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the website design right now so this is a prototype i'm gonna i'm not gonna give you the exact website url just uh because i i want to stay on the safe side and don't want to give away any client information but this is the design i applied for for that client's uh, website, you know. So this is a really simple design, nothing super technical, nothing super bulky or anything like that. It's, yeah, it looks as white as it can look. And just starting from the top, the top section looks like it has got all the elements, all the information, everything that someone needs to make a decision, to, whether to give away or whether to fill out a form or whether to make a phone call, you know. So that's that's what we need really from uh, from someone because they they won't they will come to the website they will land on the website but seventy to eighty percent of them won't really go by scrolling down uh, on the website so your goal would be to give as much information as possible without making it look really messy on the top fold or what we call the hero section so the hero section really want um, we we really want to build our hero section with a really good headline clear call to action trust badges social proof. And trust badges, so social proof, either one, right, or both, if possible. And I'll I'll talk to you guys about what I've done on this design. A top bar with basic information, bullet points describing services or something that makes the company stand out, and clearly stating the area served. So starting with the headline, it's got a really catchy headline: HVAC services in Houston, Texas, where quality meets comfort. So this has the value proposition. This has the services. Also, this has the areas covering. So three in one, we are covering three different things using one single element, which is our headline. We've got the trust badges. We don't have any social proof because it, it just doesn't look like it. Not really social proof because we've got a testimonial, which works as a social proof, but we haven't got any Google review, Facebook review badges because it will look really like unnatural. So we want to make it like as simple as possible. So under this call to action button here, which is a clear call to action, which takes you to the form right here uh, at the very bottom of the page. So this call to action is uh, followed by a phone call, uh, phone call button over here on the top right. And also it's got a testimonial. So this one actually works like a buffer, right? So we call it a social buffer that helps gain confidence clicking th this button, right? So we've got headline, trust badges, social proof, uh, just as a testimonial clear calls to action we've got the bullet points as well describing the services and also it says 24 7 emergency services the top bar here is really not uh, important because we've pretty much covered all the information that's why we haven't used a top bar in this one and that's it, it it's got the areas cover as well covered as well so we don't have to go down to see what the rest of the stuff are in this website right so if we go further down, we can see the three-step process, which is our second section. So this should cover uh, by describing uh, the process of getting the service from this company from start to finish. That's what this area is all about. So it's got get a free quote, customized plan, and sit back and relax. And it's followed by all these numbers we've got. So the, the numbers are really important, guys. These will actually develop a confidence in the audience minds. So this actually has a subconscious role in in every way possible so make sure you've got all these numbers 15 uh, years of experience you could also write 10 year workmanship warranty if you guys are giving that 1500 plus projects thousand plus satisfied customers we've also put a couple of more trust badges by just putting uh, bbb and home advisor so the next section will be about services so the services you guys are providing as as a company or if you're the web designer 
if you're building the website for any uh, any HVAC business or any other local business in general, this area should really cover the services you guys are providing. So this is the th third section. The fourth section will be either why choose us or any content area. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a why choose us section. It could cover some content that helps in SEO because if you haven't got any like content then like more than 500 words in the home page, it doesn't look good for SEO. So for SEO, it's recommended that you go above 500 or 600 or 700 words, although it's not directly stated by Google. That's what the best practice is. And that's what is, it's followed by uh, SEO experts out there. So th that that takes care of the fourth section. Why choose us or something that talks about the company, talks about the services that has some content in text format. The fifth one could be about testimonials. So we've on this one, we've put some projects followed by the testimonial. All these sections just talk about the services, just talk about how good they are, how just talks about, you know, what other people are saying. So that's the fifth section, project and testimonial. And also optionally, you could have an FAQ section that I had uh, here implemented. So that that's also another section. And the the last one will be the final call to action, which we which we have implemented through a form. Right. So this is actually a, a format which we call ADA. That's uh, attention, interest, desire and action. So this is the attention section that, that just catches the attention instantly. And the, the second section, which which we will call interest. Uh, attention and interest so interest is gained by talking about the services desire is implemented in this page by talking about the projects and testimonials which creates subconsciously creates a FOMO inside audience minds so that's attention interest desire followed by uh, action which is the call to action or the form section where they can make either a phone call or uh, fill out the form so that's ADA and there are a few more things that you need to take care of like whether uh, or not is it's responsive on mobile devices, which it is. Because according to Google's guidelines, we need to make it mobile first responsive. It, it has to be definitely uh, mobile responsive. And then they can talk about the other responsiveness on other devices, including desktop. So it, it's, it's that important because 90% of the traffic w will visit your website through mobile. So it needs to be super mobile responsive like this one. It has to be like it has to be call friendly. So people must have like people should be able to call from your website, you know, just implement a call option. And then it also has to be lightning fast, guys. So this is really important because if the website doesn't load instantaneously, just like this one, they're not going to stay on your website because if it's more than three seconds, they're going to be annoyed and they're going to leave your website to go to another competitor's website. There are plenty of websites out there. Uh, so you don't want to make that mistake of letting people go away from your website. So if you uh, go to gtmetrics.com, you can measure the page speed performance of your website. As you can see, it's pretty good. A is the best. So uh, it, it almost loads within one second, which is pretty remarkable. And if you want to, if your website doesn't have really good page speed, you can come down here to see what the problems are. You know, it'll talk about all the problems, bulky images, uncompressed codes, unminified codes. So you can take care of all these and you can see the page speed improving like crazy. So th that's all for, uh, you know, a good website, which is conversion rate optimized and Google SEO optimized at the same time. And also, if you want a website design like this, you can contact me by visiting my website and we can go from there. So. That's all for this video, guys. Hope this was helpful for uh, your knowledge of, uh, you know, creating a good optimized HVAC website or any local business website in general. Make sure you subscribe if you think these videos are helping and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.